Hello everybody, this is a demonstration of the Widuli's Vidlog Chrome extension. So let us show you how to install and use the Vidlog extension. Let's quickly open Google Chrome. You have to make sure that you are signed into Google Chrome with your account. Type in Google Chrome extension. There it is. Click Chrome Web Store. Type in Vidlog, V-I-D-L-O-G, hit enter. There it is, Viduli's uh, Vidlog extension. Now simply click on add to Chrome, add extension. There you go, it says Vidlog has been added to Chrome. So let us now go to YouTube and uh, see if our Vidlog Chrome extension is up and running. Let me just select a video. I would want to see the stats analysis for Taylor Swift's new video, which is ready for it. And boom, we have our Vidlog Chrome extension ready to use. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is now create an account. So you would want to first create an account, type in your name. My email ID is vidlogwiz at the rate gmail.com. My password can be anything. I'm not going to say it. I agree to the terms and uh, simply sign up. So you have the option to link your YouTube channel with the Vidlog account, you can do that. It'll help you get more information about uh, your YouTube channel and your brand and a lot about optimization. Make sure you check that out, but for now we'll stick to a Vidlog demonstration. So I would just skip the step and the page refreshes. All right, so finally we have the Vidlog extension up and alive in its full form. Let's take a look at the four tabs at the top. The first one is summary, the second is historical, then Twitter, and the fourth is trending. We will go through each one by one and know what they mean. So the first tab under summary, which is the overview tab, has a bunch of sections. The first box shows the views on the video in total up until this moment. Next up, we have the engagement score, which is based on the performance rate of the video in context to the views, like shares, watch time the video has garnered over time. The more the activity on the video, the better the engagement score. Very informative for a brand to check the performance of the video. Next up, we have the estimated earnings of the video which is based on the CPM of the video and then we have information such as views per hour likes comments dislikes average view duration subscription driven and total watch time of the video and the shares next up we have sentiments tab wherein you can see the sentiments of the video on YouTube and Twitter based on the reaction of the viewers further down we have the social tab where we see the overall engagement of the video and also how it has performed on Facebook so Facebook reaction Facebook engagement Facebook shares Facebook comments and the engagement on the the video on other social media platforms. We also have the SEO score provided how the video is optimized. So this video has its SEO well optimized. Next we see the number of creators videos shown alongside the video, number of rank tags, tags used in title and description, total number of word count in the description and the number of URLs provided. Moving on we have the channel stat where we can see the total number of subscribers on the channel, the views, the revenue generated by the channel, average daily views, total number of uploads and the last 30 days view count. Final tab in the summary section is the tags wherein all the top tags are ranked in the order of their performance and you can also see the two icons which helps you download all the tags and copy them for your use. In the historical section, we have the more detailed graph representation of how the video has performed in context of its daily viewership and cumulative viewership indicated by a yellow and a blue curve line. Similarly, if you scroll down further, you have the watch time graph representation based on its daily performance and cumulative performance. In a similar manner, we have the subscription driven graph which tells us how much subscription the video has achieved daily and as cumulative. We have the social media engagement pie chart wherein you can see how much of social engagement has happened on this video across all social media platforms. In the tweet section you can see people who have tweeted about this video using its URL, the latest ones appearing at the top and chronologically the older ones appearing at the bottom. And then the trending section wherein you can select a country and the category to see what kind of video trend is taking place in that location in real time. Vidlog also gives you the option to embed a video on any website with a whole bunch of extra features that lets you customize the video for its visual appearance. Thank you so much for watching. In case if you have any suggestions or questions, make sure to comment down below. Till then, keep vidlogging.